In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I got this look. Now, let's just get right into it. I got this packed up right now because I just got back from a trip. But I am going to be using the Too Faced Hangover Primer. I've really been liking this primer lately. I just apply this with my fingers. Okay, so for foundation, I'm going to be using the Milani Conceal and Perfect. A lot of people talk about this and say that they really like it. This is a really good drugstore foundation. I'm just going to be using this giant sponge from Real Techniques. This is the face and body one, so it's much bigger than the regular one. And it's still a little wet from the last time I used it. I feel that like beauty sponges work a lot better when not directly after you um, soak it. When it's like not as wet, it works a ton better. I also have this Morphe sponge that I really want to try out. I'm about to film a huge haul after this. So for the look, I'm thinking like this electric pink kind of look. Because I have the Huda Beauty Electric Obsessions. Okay, and for concealer, I'm using the Maybelline Age Rewind. I've also really been loving this. Now that that's all done, I'm going to set that with in the Wet n Wild contouring palette. I'm going to contour using this e.l.f. brush. It is the small tapered brush. And I'm just going to use that with the contour shade in here. There's like a lot of kickback in this product. Now for blush, I'm going to be using some more Wet n Wild. This is pearlescent pink. Thought, why not use a pink like this if I'm going to do a pink look? It's so pretty when you catch it in the light because it has little gold shimmers in it. I love a little glowy blush because it makes my skin look so healthy and hydrated. And then for highlighter, I'm going to be using um, Champagne Pop. I'm sure you've all heard of that. If not, it is by Becca and it was with Jaclyn Hill. This is honestly the best highlighter. I just haven't been using it lately. Also, I'm just using this Morphe brush. It's the M310. Okay, I'm just going to do my brows real quickly. And they're done. Like I said, for the eyes, I'm, go I'm going to be using the Electric Obsessions palette. But just for a base, I'm going to be using the Tartlet Toasted palette. Mostly because I really love the transition shade Cashmere in here. But I'm going to be taking the Morphe Y16 brush and I'm first going to go into... Sm Wait, first I need to put concealer on my eye. What was I thinking? I do this all the time. I always forget to put down some kind of base. So I'm just putting down my concealer because honestly, concealer works really well just as a eyeshadow primer. I find there's really no point to go out and buy an, a separate eyeshadow primer. Also, while you're doing this, it's good to carve out your brows, even though I'm not really going to do that with this, con this concealer. But when I do carve out my brows, I love this brush. It's a Sonia Kashuk brush. This is what it looks like. Going back in the Tartlet Toasted Palette, I'm just taking some more and setting that concealer. Now that I've set the concealer on my eyes, I'm taking the Morphe Y17 and I'm going in with Cashmere, the transition shade I was talking about. So this is what the palette looks like. I'm going to start by going in with that yellow shade. I'm just going to be taking my a Morphe 4, M433. find that this brush picks up product really well. And so I really love it. 
And so I'm putting down this first before the other pink shades just so it might peek through a little bit. And I was just kind of sweeping the shades under to my lower lash line a bit just so it all is blending. I know that Jaclyn Hill always loves to do this where she puts a yellow shade down first so then it just kind of peeks through. So now that I have that done, I have that done, I'm going to go straight in with that super bright pink. Still using the same brush. I'm kind of just putting this shade all over because I am going to be going for a halo eye. So now taking an R39 brush, I'm going to be taking this reddish shade. I'm going to be focusing it on the inner and outer corner for the halo eye effect. So right now this looks really messy. I'm going to be going back in with the M433 and blend a bit. But I don't want to be blending those that darker pink too much. I'm just going to take a little more of that really bright pink. Okay, and then I'm just going to go back with the R39 and the same more red shade and go in again and focus it on the inner outer corner of each eye. And because I feel like these shades are starting to look the same, I'm going to take um, some of that really, some of that orange shade and blend that more up here. I'm going to be taking this e.l.f. brush. It was from one of their holiday collection sets. And I'm just going to be taking what I blended under the eye and um, blend that a little better. For a darker, like, pink reddish shade. I'm first going to be going in, I'm going to be going into the Modern Renaissance palette and I'm going to be taking this shade right here, the bottom like pink shade. And I'm going to be taking that brush I was using for my lower lash line and I'm going to be focusing that on the outer and inner corner. Okay, to deepen that even more I'm going to be taking red ochre which is right next to it this could be a valentine's day look but you know too late for that i just really wanted to do like an electric pink look and then i'm gonna take cypress umber and i'm just gonna deep it even more because the pinks kind of look the same i just want to make sure you can see that definition so, like usual, I'm putting it on the inner and outer corner. I'm going to go back in with my M433 and blend a little bit. Now I'm going to be taking my Tarte Shape Tape, and I'm starting to run out of this, so I definitely need to get another. But I'm going to be using this to kind of carve out a little of the center. That way I can put a shade over top. I find that like I can only use like my shape tape or something when I'm trying to do like a halo eye or a cut crease. Like when I need to do something like this. I feel like this is just the best concealer for it. And then for the for the, I'm going to put the Stila Magnificent Metals on the center of my eyelid. This is in the shade Sunset Cove. I'm going to be switching to a smaller a smaller brush. This is by Colourpop. I forgot what it's called. Maybe like this small tapered brush. Honestly, I don't know. It's just... It's the only one they have like it. But any like flat brush like this will work. Why does that not look glittery? Okay, I'm just going to put some directly on with the thingamabob it comes with. Why does that look so, that side look so much better? Okay, something happened over here. Both sides, I'm going to take the more red shade. 
go back to the inner and outer and blend and then I can just sweep some more on that lower lash line. Um, now I'm going to be taking this ColourPop liner. Uh, it's a cream gel liner in the shade Best O. Anyways, I'm just going to be putting this in my waterline. But I think doing this looks really good with like some kind of dramatic eye. It really bothers me. Like, do you see that? Why is this one glittery but that one's not? Anyways, so for the lips, I think I might go with the, like this bright pink. That might be a little much. Not talking about like the color or anything, but I love the formula of this lip. It's like a, it's amazing, but I'm going to switch the lip. I think I might use Dreamy. Wait. Okay, so now I need to decide between my two color pop. I think point zero. I think this would be a little off for the look. This is just more neutral. Since this look is so dramatic, I need some dramatic lashes. So I'm going to be using the Lash Paradise by uh, L'Oreal. These days I don't know how to talk to you. I don't know how to be there when you need me. It feels like the only time you see me. Tell me that we're not alike, but we work so well. And we don't even know why. From the other stars cross right, cause we work so 